Every year, the world produces more than 2 billion tons of municipal waste, and this number keeps growing. What if there was a way to reduce the waste going to landfills and turn it into something useful, like energy? That's where waste to energy incineration technology comes in. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into this incredible process, which not only helps manage waste, but also generates renewable energy. Let's explore how turning trash into power is shaping the future of municipal waste management. But before we continue, subscribe to this for future amazing content. The waste management challenge is a global crisis. Cities, especially in developing countries, are struggling to manage the massive amounts of waste produced daily. More than 33% of the world's waste is not managed in an environmentally safe manner. Many landfills are overflowing, leading to hazardous environmental impacts, including leachate that contaminates soil and groundwater, and methane emissions, a potent greenhouse gas. Landfilling is not a sustainable option in the long term. Some regions are even running out of space for new landfills. This is where waste to energy incineration can play a critical role, reducing waste volume while generating energy at the same time. So what exactly is waste to energy incineration? Waste to energy WTE incineration is the process of burning municipal solid waste at high temperatures, typically between 850 degrees Celsius and 1100 degrees Celsius or 1500 degrees Fahrenheit to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. This results in a significant reduction in the volume of waste, typically by up to 90%, while generating heat that can be used to produce electricity or provide district heating. The process generally involves the following steps. 1. Waste sorting. First, the waste is sorted to remove recyclable materials like paper, metals, and plastics. Only non-recyclable materials are incinerated. 2. Combustion. The remaining waste is burned in large, specially designed furnaces. During combustion, the waste breaks down into ash, gases, and heat. 3. Energy recovery. The heat produced by burning the waste is used to boil water, producing steam. The steam drives turbines connected to generators, producing electricity. In some systems, the heat is also used for district heating, providing warmth to nearby homes and businesses. 4. Air pollution control. Modern incineration plants are equipped with advanced filtration systems, such as scrubbers and electrostatic precipitators, to capture harmful gases and particulates before they are released into the atmosphere. 5. Ash management. The remaining ash can sometimes be treated and reused in construction materials like concrete, but some of it still needs to be safely disposed of in landfills. Types of incineration waste to energy technologies. There are several different technologies used for waste to energy incineration, each with its own advantages and applications. 1. Moving Great Incinerators. This is the most common type of waste to energy incineration. In a moving grate system, waste is placed on a slowly moving grate that transports it through the furnace. As the waste moves, it is burned at high temperatures, with the heat used to generate electricity or heat. 2. Fluidized Bed Incinerators. This technology involves waste being mixed with a bed of sand or ash, which is fluidized by a stream of air. This allows for more efficient combustion and better mixing of the waste. It's often used for waste with a higher moisture content such as organic waste. 3. Gasification and Pyrolysis. These technologies involve heating waste in an oxygen-limited environment to produce a synthetic gas or syngas, which can be used to generate electricity or as a fuel for other processes. These methods produce fewer emissions and can recover more energy than traditional incineration, but they are less commonly used due to their higher costs and technological complexity. Environmental Impacts and Emission Controls One of the major concerns about waste-to-energy incineration is its potential environmental impact, particularly in terms of air pollution. During the combustion process, waste releases various pollutants including dioxins, furans, particulate matter, and heavy metals. However, modern waste-to-energy plants are equipped with advanced air pollution control technologies to minimize these emissions. Here are the key technologies used to control emissions. 1. Scrubbers. These systems use a liquid, often a chemical solution, to capture acidic gases like sulfur dioxide and hydrogen chloride from the flue gases. 2. Electrostatic precipitators. These devices use electric fields to remove fine particles from the flue gas, ensuring that particulate matter doesn't escape into the atmosphere. 3. Fabric filters, also known as bag houses. 
These are similar to large vacuum filters that capture particles from the gas stream before they exit the plant. 4. Activated Carbon Injection This technology helps capture trace organic compounds like dioxins, as well as heavy metals, such as mercury. The result? Modern waste-to-energy plants are designed to meet stringent environmental regulations, with some plants achieving emissions far below the required limits. Benefits of Waste-to-Energy Incineration Despite the concerns, waste-to-energy incineration offers several significant benefits. First, waste volume reduction. Incineration reduces the volume of municipal solid waste by up to 90%, dramatically decreasing the space needed for landfills. Second, energy generation. Waste-to-energy plants generate renewable energy, helping reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. In Europe, for example, waste-to-energy facilities generate enough electricity to power millions of homes. Third, greenhouse gas reduction incineration helps reduce methane emissions from landfills, a powerful greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change. Fourth, resource recovery. Metals that cannot be incinerated are often recovered from the ash for recycling. Additionally, bottom ash can be used as a substitute material in construction projects, reducing the need for virgin raw materials. Finally, cleaner cities. By managing waste more effectively, waste-to-energy facilities help keep cities cleaner and more sustainable. Challenges of Waste-to-Energy Incineration Technology As with any technology, waste-to-energy incineration has its challenges and criticisms. First, air pollution. Even with advanced filtration systems, some pollutants like carbon dioxide are still released into the atmosphere. Critics argue that incineration contributes to global warming by emitting CO2. Second, high costs. Building and operating waste-to-energy plants is expensive. In some regions, this can be a barrier to widespread adoption without government subsidies or carbon credits. Third, public opposition. Some communities are resistant to the idea of waste incineration, fearing air pollution or unpleasant odors. Public education and transparent communication are critical in overcoming these challenges. Fourth, limited recyclables. Recovery. Once waste is incinerated, it cannot be recycled. This means materials that could have been recycled are sometimes burned, emphasizing the need for strong recycling programs alongside incineration. Global Adoption and Success Stories Despite these challenges, waste-to-energy incineration has seen widespread adoption in several countries. Some regions are leading the way in showing how this technology can be effectively integrated into municipal waste management systems. First, Sweden. Sweden is a world leader in waste to energy. The country incinerates nearly 50% of its municipal waste and has so successfully reduced its reliance on landfills that it imports waste from other countries to fuel its waste to energy plants. Second, Japan. Japan has over 1,000 waste to energy plants, which play a crucial role in waste management in densely populated areas. Many of these plants are highly efficient and have minimal environmental impact. Third, Singapore, land scarce. Singapore relies heavily on waste to energy to manage its municipal waste. The country has four major waste to energy plants, which together treat around 60% of the city-state's waste. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.